brutally honest review of all the new items of this update. We will test the new J35, the CN Type 054B, the new helicopter, the new camouflage and all the new equipment available. So stay tuned because I will tell you if it is worth it or not. Okay guys, look at this, we have the new Chinese uh, warship. Yes, I'm talking about the CN Type 054 B. Okay, so this is a Chinese warship and we have a Chinese helicopter as well. Okay, so this is the Z19 E Yuan helicopter. Okay, so as you can see we have some good equipment in this helicopter. We don't have torpedoes, but we have missiles, grenade launcher and a powerful machine gun, which is uh, pretty nice in this kind of helicopters, okay? So let me use some flares. Let's go back to the warship, because I want to show you all the equipment that we have in this magnificent uh, ship, okay? So first, uh, let's start uh, with uh, the missile, because we have a fixed uh, missile. This is the TL-30C missile, okay? So let's take a look at uh, the damage of this missile, okay? So as you can see, we can fire four Four missiles, okay, so that's what it seems, bro, that's so cool, okay, so the only thing that I changed from the original equipment of this uh, warship was the grenade launcher, because I have equipped the new grenade launcher, so this is the first laser guided grenade launcher of the game, look at this thing guys, this is crazy, also we have the new Ju-10 torpedo, okay, so this is another fixed weapon of this warship, and a fixed cannon, there's a bunch of fixed equipment as I told you, okay, so let's try to destroy this enemy warship, look at this, look at the fixed grenade launcher, Nice, bro, that's so crazy. 165,000 damage points. Okay, so we're going to destroy that warship. Let's go back. Let's take some cover right now. So we should use the cannon and we're going to destroy it. Nice, we did it. Bro, it was an assist. Okay, so let's try to destroy this Yamato Aegis. Okay, so let's use the grenade launcher. Okay, so let's take... Bro... Okay, so he is in this side. I thought that he was covering with uh, the oil rig. Okay, so let's keep using uh, the torpedoes, uh, the grenade launcher. We must uh, get some cover because that's actually a powerful warship. Look at that! And they we're going to destroy that Yamato and we did it. Bro, my helicopter was destroyed already. But don't worry because we will make another test uh, later. Okay, so we have equipped uh, the YG-18 missile, okay? So this is the missile that comes with uh, this warship as well. So we're going to destroy the rest of the enemy team, bro. I'm so bad. All the grenade launchers were in that oil rig. That's so bad, okay? So we're 3 versus 2 right now, so it seems like it will be an easy win. So let's try to destroy this constitution right now. Bye-bye, my friend. We're going to destroy you. I'm gonna use the torpedoes, because I want to see the damage of this torpedo. Okay, so we can fire two torpedoes. Nice! Okay, so that's good. Okay, so I hope the torpedoes doesn't crash. Bro, no way with the destroyed warship. Okay, so let's try to destroy the, that Nanchang right now. Okay, so look at the damage of the grenade launcher, bro. 63,000 points. That's crazy. Two targets destroyed, one million damage. Dealt. Okay, so this is a good warship, but uh, let me show you the equipment because there's a bunch of air defense and the auto cannons in this warship that I want to show you right uh, now. Okay, so first of all, as I already told you, we have two missiles. Okay, so those are two fixed uh, missiles, the TL-30C. So we can cause 10,400 points of damage with uh, this uh, missile, okay? So it is pretty cool, but we have two of them, so it will be a lot of damage. Okay, so here we can equip uh, two missiles as well. Okay, so this is the missile that we have right uh, now. I recommend you to equip uh, a missile like uh, the X-51 Wave Raider, or maybe the scalp naval missile okay so that's actually another good option 
So, as I told you, the cannon is another fixed uh, weapon of this warship, okay? So, this is a 100mm cannon, and uh, the damage is 7800 points. And uh, this is the new grenade launcher. I guess that uh, this grenade launcher will be available in the new battle pass. So, we have that uh, this grenade launcher can cost a damage of 9100 points. And uh, two fixed uh, torpedoes, okay, so this is the U-10 torpedo, okay, so look at this, 39,000 points of damage with uh, this torpedo, guys, this is really powerful, this is really powerful, this is... Okay, so we have a decent uh, speed. Bro, those are good uh, torpedoes. Now I understand uh, why those are fixed equipment. Okay, so here are the stats of the new helicopter. Okay, so it is similar to the Comanche helicopter. Okay, so this is a Chinese helicopter, as I told you. We have a durability of 10,400 points. Okay, so it's pretty cool. And as I told you, we have uh, missiles, a grenade launcher, and a machine gun. Okay, so that's actually something good. So this is the auto cannon that we have equipped in this warship. Okay, so this is a normal auto cannon. You can change it. You can equip the Gipka anti tank auto cannon or maybe the Typhoon auto cannon. Okay, so you can use your favorite type of weapon. And also we have two free slots for air defense. Okay, so this is the air defense that comes with uh, this warship. But that's not all because we have two fixed uh, air defenses okay so this is the hhq 16f air defense okay so this is a missile air defense which is pretty effective in my opinion okay so we have a damage of 1560 points about the camouflage guys this is so cool this is the new jade Guardian camouflage, okay, so for those of you that uh, don't know yet, uh, we will have the celebration of the Chinese Lunar New Year this month. That's actually the reason why all the battle pass equipment uh, will be Chinese. It is something that uh, makes uh, sense in my opinion, and uh, that's not all, because we will have uh, a Valentine's event as well. We will talk about that in a separate video. Okay guys, so now we're gonna test the new J-35 Strike Fighter, okay? So this is another Chinese Strike Fighter. If, as you can see here, we can have a lot of missiles and fixed uh, missiles uh, with uh, this uh, strike uh, fighter okay so let's try to open the map there are some enemies right here let's use the flares nice 67,000 points of the match with uh, that laser missile okay so let me try to use the rest of the equipment let's try to spam the missiles and uh, the machine gun right now let's keep using the flares we must uh, go back in order to repair this strike fighter okay so that's why i love the guided missiles look at that damage guys this is crazy okay so let's try to take some cover use some flares and as you can see, I have equipped another new camouflage, okay, so this is the element camouflage, okay, so it changes colors, okay, so it can be blue like water and it can be red like lava, also white like snow, so this is crazy, guys, I love this camouflage, to be honest. Okay, so what can I tell you about this? We have a durability of 8,200 and 55 uh, points okay so it is not uh, too high or not too low bro this camouflage is so beautiful i love this uh, thing okay so it seems like we're going to destroy this warship but we're going to be destroyed too what is this they destroyed the strike fighter okay guys so i forgot to tell you that we have equipped a new laser air defense okay so this is the silent hunter laser air defense okay so let me see if we can test uh, that laser also we have equipped uh, the new helicopter and uh, a lot of chinese equipment okay so all of this is chinese equipment we have the j50 strike fighter as well so let me try to destroy that helicopter we're gonna do it nice we did it let's go back 
Okay, so let's deploy the H-18 uh, Vomer. Okay, so let's try to cause some damage to this Type 83 warship. We're gonna do it right now. Let's try to destroy it. Uh, look at that, 143,000 100 points. Okay, so look at this. We're gonna do it. Bye-bye, uh, my friend. Yes, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. No way. No way. Yes, we did it. Let's go back. Okay, so let me deploy the J-35 once again. Okay, so we should attack this enemy warship right now. Constitution. Okay, so we're gonna do it. Let's try to spam the missiles. Let's use the machine gun. Okay, so we must uh, be careful because it seems like they can destroy my warship right now. But I have the new guided uh, grenade launcher okay so this is chinese equipment uh, by the way look at that no way guys this is so powerful we destroyed uh, that constitution with uh, the grenade launcher okay so we have uh, beliki right here okay so let's keep testing uh, this magnificent uh, grenade launcher right now okay so let's deploy the fighter and let's use the j35 once again okay so we're gonna do it let's try to destroy that warship okay so where is it is here yes we're gonna do it with uh, this warship we're going to destroy this beliki look at that no way guys this is so cool okay so let's go for this enemy right now let's do it okay so we're gonna destroy this beliki 75,000 points no way okay so let's keep going let's go back to the aircraft carrier and uh, Bro, we must uh, repair this uh, right uh, now. What happened? <laughs> okay, so let's deploy uh, this drone. Okay, so this is actually American equipment, but we're gonna do it. Okay, so we're gonna do... We're gonna use the laser of this uh, drone. Let's go back. Bro, they're going to destroy my aircraft carrier. We must uh, use uh, this uh, thing. Nice, we're going to destroy that uh, Beliki. And uh, we're gonna do it, we did it, nice, another warship destroyed, let's use this repair kit, and uh, let's use the J-35 once again, okay, so this is a good jet, okay, so I love this strike fighter, it seems like our teammates are going to destroy this CN type 004, okay, so let me see if I can do it, okay, so it seems like we did it, no way guys! Four targets destroyed and the 2,109,000 uh, damage dealt. This is so crazy guys. Okay guys, so here we can see the stats of this uh, Neo J35. Okay, so we have a speed uh, of 93 knots. Remember that this is fully upgraded already. And we have uh, a maneuvering ability of 110 points. Okay, so it is pretty high. A radar range uh, of 8 kilometers. Aviation reserve of 10 and the afterburner of 121 knots. Okay, so it is pretty cool. It is a decent strike fighter, and uh, that will be the VIP pass. Okay, so it will be the J35, the new helicopter, and uh, I guess that uh, this camouflage will be available in the VIP pass as well. Okay, so I love uh, this camouflage. In my opinion, this is actually one of the best uh, camouflage of the game right uh, now. So, I guess that uh, this uh, laser air defense could be available in the battle pass, but I don't know if the VIP battle pass or the premium battle pass, because we also have the grenade launcher. And the grenade launcher could also be a VIP reward. I don't think that they will add two weapons in the VIP pass. They never do that kind of things. So I guess that one of those will be in the VIP pass and the other one will be available in the premium battle pass. Okay guys, so in my opinion the helicopter is not the best okay so it is not like something that i would uh, that i will tell you that it is worth it because the truth is that it is not because remember that nowadays it is important to have a helicopter equipped with uh, torpedoes okay so a helicopter without uh, torpedoes is useless right uh, now and uh, the equipment is very limited in my opinion because we only have uh, two weapons and uh, the machine gun okay so we only have the grenade launcher one missile battery and uh, the machine gun i think it is not enough in order to fight against uh, the enemies 
about the J35. Okay, so it is a good jet, it is pretty fast, we have a high maneuvering ability. I love the fact that it has my favorite weapon of the game, which is the laser missile. Okay, so the laser guided missile is actually a powerful weapon and if you know how to use it, you can troll your enemies. About the grenade launcher, it is pretty cool, but I prefer the automatic grenade launcher. Okay, so the advantage with uh, this grenade launcher is that it will never be affected by the enemy flares so you can fire this the enemy could deploy some flares but you will still hitting that enemy something that is pretty cool and it will be more effective okay so this will be like the most effective grenade launcher of the game so the laser weapon let's compare this with the rest of the laser equipment okay so we have 49.4 damage points so if we compare this with the early con hell we can see that it is pretty low and if we compare the silent hunter with another laser air defense like the excalibur laser we will see that it's kind of the same right no it's 10 points higher okay but it is not like 2 OP in my opinion but it is good all the laser air defenses of this game are good so the new warship is totally worth it in my opinion remember that at the end uh, this is a free reward so all the equipment of this warship is good we have fixed uh, missiles fixed uh, cannon and uh, the fixed uh, torpedo that can cause 39,000 points of the match. Guys, this is a lot, so it is pretty cool. You can also equip a lot of air defenses. You can change the grenade launcher, so we have two slots. For grenade launcher, we can equip the nuclear grenade launcher, and this will be the best uh, warship to fight uh, against uh, submarines taking into consideration that we already have uh, two torpedoes and if we equip a helicopter like the Merlin that will be equipped uh, with uh, torpedoes as well bro this will be the best uh, warship uh, of the game because we will have uh, four missiles and uh, bro this is so cool